waves are all around us. You've heard of sound waves, light waves, and even microwaves. But what if I told you that what keeps down on Earth produces waves up in space? We know that waves are disturbances, carrying energy from one place to another. With the known and unknown in space, something is definitely bound to create a commotion up there. The greatest physicist of all time was able to predict just that. Almost 100 years before the first detection of the gravitational wave, Albert Einstein completely ignored Isaac Newton's theory of gravity. Instead, Einstein developed his theory of general relativity, explaining two key points essential for astrophysics. Gravity is all about geometry, and mass in space causes depression in space-time. Think of it like this. Imagine a really, really heavy planet on a trampoline. The depression, or the warp, is just a natural occurrence due to its heavy mass. Now imagine that the trampoline is space. Mass leads to a distortion. And this distortion is an effect that we perceive as gravity. This is exactly how Einstein scrapped Newton's theory of gravity, being a constant, instantaneous force. But how does this distortion happen in space? This distortion in space-time forms when two accelerating objects collide, forming a single, bigger mass. When objects are heavier, the greater distortion can result in an even greater collision. And the energy from this collision is what we can observe here on Earth, in the form of gravitational waves. You might be thinking, how can I even record a wave from a collision so far away? One answer, lasers! Just like a spring, gravitational waves move in such a way that one dimension in space expands, while another dimension compresses. And this action happens repeatedly. Meanwhile, lasers are responsible for emitting light, which does not get stretched, making it the perfect tool for measuring gravitational waves. These gravitational waves can be recorded in observatories with the help of a device called an interferometer, composed of lasers, mirrors, and a photodetector, all enclosed in a big quiet area. The detection of gravitational waves all lie in the presence of a resulting light beam. With no gravitational waves, the laser beams are reflected at the same distance back towards the center, with no light beam visible at the photodetector. Why? The waves are rearranged in such a way that they cancel each other out, leaving no energy behind. But with gravitational waves, the compression and expansion in space-time allows the arm's distances to change, altering the beam's distances and its resulting light waves. The changes in alignment lead to varying light intensities, which is recording the gravitational wave. And with the help of more data from other gravitational wave observatories all over the world, scientists can make a more accurate guess as to what causes gravitational wave and where it happened. Although gravitational waves might seem like tiny things we can't even feel or imagine, they might just unlock the secrets to our universe. Perhaps they are essential to discovering what is invisible to the eye.